Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk H.P. Lovecraft and Let's Talk Short Fiction here on the Let's Talk YouTube channel. All right, guys, continuing my journey through the complete fiction of H.P. Lovecraft, doing a review for you today of A Reminiscence of Dr. Samuel Johnson, published in September of 1917 uh, in the magazine United Amateur under the pseudonym Humphrey Little Wit Esquire. <laughs> All right, so here uh, Lovecraft is obviously playing around a little bit um and it's i would say strictly speaking probably the least of his fiction uh but it's fun as well and it's only a couple pages long which makes it um not a big loss if you don't enjoy it all right so the narrator uh reveals to us at the beginning of the story that he is nearly 200 years old and then flashes back to uh the first 70 years or so of his life um where he was a critic and he became part of Dr. Samuel Johnson's literary club. He tells us about all the interesting, uh, absurd people, stuffy people in this club, a lot of arrogant, um, old writers and critics and friends. Uh, Wikipedia calls the story a spoof of Lovecraft's antiquarian affections. I disagree. I think he's actually mocking the stuffiness and the sort of um, uh, the unwelcomeness of the literary establishment which sort of protects its own and has a way of refusing to allow um, acceptance or entrance by outsiders like Lovecraft himself. Uh, and this makes sense to me because uh, the success that he's seen as a writer has been mainly uh, since his death during his lifetime Lovecraft uh, everything that he sold was for for pennies, and uh, it's it's a wonder that any of that stuff has actually survived to us today. Um, the again, uh, that reviewer called called it an antiquarian. I disagree. I think Lovecraft's prose style can sometimes be sort of antiquarian, a little bit more like broke style almost. Uh, but his his sensibilities have actually been, I would say, very futuristic and progressive and um, anything but uh, conservative, although he certainly, um, as I understand it, had a pretty conservative outlook. Uh, his um, He kind of saw himself as a descendant of English gentlemen, and his grandfather was a wealthy man, and he had a hard time in his lifetime dealing with... Um, sort of the collapse of that old school New England society that he, I think he saw himself as, um, that was what he was destined to become part of, but his world fell apart. Um, the narrator, again, uh, nearly 200 years old, um, coming to the end of the story, he describes himself as being very, very tired and about to settle down for his afternoon nap. And I think that is, um, I think that kind of represents how a lot of us feel when we're expected to read sort of what is in style as opposed to what moves us. I can see Lovecraft maybe feeling a little bit of that when he was probably receiving rejection letters and not getting the, uh, the not uh, notoriety and the respect that he probably felt that he deserved. And he certainly did deserve it. And uh, here now, um, in eight, uh, nine, 2018, yeah, it's 2018, um, he's finally getting a lot of that respect, but uh, unfortunately it did not come in his lifetime. But that is also the case with plenty of great classic literature. It's, um, it's not always the case where the, the bestseller becomes the most loved and the longest surviving um, stories. I, I remember just a few years ago when uh, Mrs. J.K. Rowling was doing her Harry Potter thing and um, all these uh, generations of kids who were calling it the greatest thing ever. But um, a lot of those books right now are uh, propping up rickety desks like this one. <laughs> Alright guys, so it is a short story. It's, it's not the kind of story where you can really, um, at least I can't really give it the sort of review that I normally do. Um, uh, very, very thin on plot. It's essentially at its heart a satire of the literary scene. And uh, at two pages, it's it's worth the 15 minutes or whatever 
it takes you to read them, and I'm glad I read it. Um, I'm reading everything that he ever published in terms of his fiction uh, here in the complete fiction of H.P. Lovecraft, and we will do another one possibly tomorrow, maybe the day after Christmas. So until then, uh, thanks for listening. Please subscribe and help us reach our new goal of 750 subscribers uh, sometime next year. So uh, until next time, see ya.